course, it's not only ancient objects that we find on the foreshore. Sometimes there are more modern ones washed up too, like this. <laughs> oh, look at that. Union Jack, just in time for the coronation next weekend. I'm still debating whether to get up really, really early to see if I can get a place on the Mall to watch the procession. I haven't decided yet, but I might do. Ladies and gentlemen, today is a very special day. It is a very momentous occasion. It is the launch of the Fitzroy motorboat, which is here laden with goods because we are going on a secret camping trip. And it's the first time that we have done such a trip in this boat. And so now it is the grand launch and so it's the naming ceremony too. So I'm glad to invite you to be part of that ceremony. So I hereby, dear Fitzroy Motorboat, I hereby name you officially Fitzroy Motorboat. <laughs> Woo! Oh. Round of applause, please. I love these pieces with anchors on. Part of a bowl or a cup from the mess room. And this, which I think is um, the army canteen board, maybe the navy and the army canteen board or the national army canteen board. Like that anyway. Now look at what I've seen down here blending into the foreshore very cleverly. It's one of our old favourites. It's a Royal Antediluvian Order of Buffaloes clay pipe bowl. A really nice one but it does not have a snout. And I do like finding them with snouts, but better without than not at all. Really nice, isn't it? R-A-O-B. The Fraternal Organisation. Founded in around about 1820. There's some lovely little fragments of Roman pottery here. What's that? Is that Roman? Oh, that's interesting. That is interesting. It's got some kind of design on there. I'll keep that and take a closer look at home. I just spotted a really nice chunk of Samian. Let's go and see if I can find it again. Where's it gone? Oh, here it is. Look at this. A lovely big chunk of Samian ware. See that lovely milling design just there. I love Samian ware, that sort of shiny finish. I 
amazing to think that the potter who made that was walking this earth around about 2,000 years ago. Isn't that incredible? Absolutely incredible. Another piece of pottery here. That's probably black burnished ware. Here's another nice piece. That's not Samian ware. Oh, look at this piece. That's beautiful, isn't it? Part of a tiny cup by the looks of it. Can you hear that skylark in the background there? singing its little heart out. Such a beautiful summery sound. And look what we've got here. It's a blacking pot, a stoneware blacking pot. Let's take a moment and listen to that skylark. Now this down here looks like another piece of Samian. The bottom of a plate, well probably not a plate actually, more like a, a bowl. And oh my gosh, look what we've got here. We actually do have the stamp of the maker. And it's really, really clear. That is incredible. That's brilliant. I mean, I wonder if these potters back in Roman times ever imagined that 2,000 or so years after they died, that pieces of their work would be found and we would be able to find out about them. That's just mind blowing, isn't it? That's incredible. So it looks like Bortilio or something. Bortilioff? Oh my gosh. That is beautiful. Now I will be able to send that name to somebody, or I might even be able to find out something about it myself, but I'll be able to send that to somebody and they will be able to tell me about that potter and when he was um, creating, creating um, pots and dishes. David, you've struck lucky. I found a chair, so I'll carry it everywhere with me in case I get tired and I want to sit down. <laughs> what a great idea. Perfect. A chair. <laughs> I'm finding Roman pottery and you're finding chairs. Now there's a couple of bottles that have caught my eye here. There's this one which was actually very camouflaged. It's in one piece. It's pretty nice. It's Dove Phillips from Rochester. It's been there a while. But over here, and unfortunately, I don't think it's in one piece, but if it was in one piece, it would be a beautiful cod bottle with an A be on it which I really think is the the National Army canteen board look at it wow that's gorgeous you know what actually I found one of these a few years ago and Simon cut it down for me and it turned out really well and I'm gonna take this one and you never know Maybe he'll do it again for me. That's really nice. NACB. And also, as I'm just kneeling down here, you see there, there's a bit of stoneware that we can see. 
I wonder if there's a, a whole bottle under here. Actually, no, there isn't. There isn't. But look at that. I really like that. Of course, it's not only ancient objects that we find on the foreshore. Sometimes there are more modern ones washed up too, like this. <laughs> oh, look at that. Union Jack, just in time for the coronation next weekend. I'm still debating whether to get up really, really early to see if I can get a place on the Mall to watch the procession. I haven't decided yet, but I might do. There's a really nice half a cup here. What I like about it, it's got the, the Royal Navy insignia there, which is really nice. Oh, and there as well. Now take a look at this. This is interesting. It looks as if somebody has actually scratched that into the into the pottery, into the bowl. 32. Yeah, you can actually feel the scratch marks. It's curious. And look at this bit down here. Pama Perteram. All Marines. It's spot the bottle stopper time. There are two down here. Two lovely Victorian glass bottle stoppers. One there, and one over here. And as it's such a lovely sunny day, obviously I have to do the obligatory bottle stopper or bottle stoppers in the sun shot. Let's try and do both of them. Very nice. Twin bottle stoppers in the sun. And look, it's bottle stopper number three, but it's slightly different. This one's a little more special than this one. It's nice, isn't it? Right, bottle stopper number three in the sun shot. seen a couple of things here. One of them is slightly worrying, but we'll look at this one over here first, which is less worrying. It looks like it could be a little label or a tag. Let's have a look. Definitely a tag of some sort. I'll have to clean that off. But you can, you can see a little bit of lettering there. CP or something. I'll clean that off when I get home and we'll see what it is. But yes, the worrying object is... Ta da What is that? That is odd. Oh my goodness, that's going to terrify all the orphans in the Tideline Art Thames toy orphanage. Oh dear. Now that's a little strange, isn't it? Those teeth look real. Oh, <laughs> you're an odd little fella. Well, I don't know. As long as 
as you don't cause any trouble in the Tideline Art Thames Toy Orphanage, I guess, I guess I can take you along and put you on the shelf. The tide is nearly up and we have packed up the Fitzroy motorboat and we're going to be going soon. But look what I found <laughs> just before, just before we're about to leave. Look at this. Now look. <laughs> you know what I was saying earlier about Royal Antediluvian Order of Buffalo Pipes without a snout. Well, look at this one. This one has a beautiful snout. <laughs> That's funny. My first find of today was a snoutless RAOB pipe bowl. And my last find of the day before we leave is an RAOB pipe with a splendiferous snout. The snout is what it's all about. We're back. Hi everyone, how are you? Thank you very much for watching and I hope that wherever you are in the world that you're well and in good spirits. Thank you so much for joining us on the maiden voyage of the Fitzroy motorboat and I hope that you enjoyed it as much as I did. Now a little bit of history behind the name of the Fitzroy motorboat. A few years ago I found this piece of metal in the mud and on it is stamped Fitzroy motorboat. Goodness knows where it comes from, maybe another boat that no longer exists, but I always thought that if I had a boat at some point, I would have to call it the Fitzroy. And I think that David did a fantastic job bringing that little boat back to life, patching her up, she was full of holes, and now she really suits her regal name of Fitzroy motorboat and I do hope that we're going to have many more wonderful adventures in her. We will have to see. Now before I start um, I expect that you're dying to know or maybe you're not dying to know but I'm going to tell you anyway later on whether I went to the coronation celebrations in central London. Well I will soon tell you but first of all, I just wanted to think a little bit about how the objects we find in the river are such a wonderful reflection of history and historical events. Take, for example, this piece of Samian ware here that I found during that outing, which harks right back to Roman times. I now know, thanks to Richard Hemery, who is a pottery expert, that the potter who made this piece of Samian ware was Beryllus, and he was making pottery in Lezou during the second century, and his pottery has been found um, far and wide, but a lot of it in Britain too, but also in Europe in, and in other places. And this would have been on somebody's table in Britain, when Britain was part of the Roman Empire. So it's really exciting to find something like that, so old, which just reminds us of our history. But Beryllus, of course, wouldn't recognise Britain now at all. So much has changed centuries later. And the river continues to reveal objects which tell us about our history. 
and I, along with many other mudlarks, have found over the years so many bits and pieces associated with kings and queens dating back centuries, and that can be anything from clay pipes, coins, bits of pottery, all sorts of things, little medals, buttons. Now we have a new king. This is this is happening um, now today when I'm recording this video. It's actually Saturday, the sixth of May, and history is being made again by the coronation of King Charles III. There hasn't been a coronation since 1953, um, Queen Elizabeth II's coronation, and so. King Charles III is actually the 40th monarch to be crowned in Westminster Abbey, alongside, of course, Queen Camilla. So now we get to the question of, did I go to the celebrations? Well, I have to tell you that I had to decline my invite. Sadly, I had to decline my invite because I said, look, I, I just really have to get this video ready to put out for all of you to see and so I just wouldn't have time. Very very sad I know but a sacrifice I was willing to make but to make up for it I decided to travel into central London the day before the coronation to meet the people that have been camping out in the streets waiting to see King Charles and Queen Camilla. I thought it would be fun to talk to them and find out what inspired them to go, how it is camping out on the pavement, where they've come from and what the atmosphere was like. I thought that you might like to join me. This video started with a ceremony, so it seems only right that we finish with a momentous ceremony as well. So I hope that you enjoy coming along with me to central London and mingling a little bit with the crowds and hearing their stories. Okay, we've come from Toronto, Canada. I'm a Brit, married to a Canadian, and we came here for the Jubilee and loved it. So we're back now for the coronation, and we're going to stay out overnight. What? Simple have you got as that. To sleep? Yeah, no, we're going to well, stand. Well, we have a hotel room. We have a hotel, but we're we not going back. Room, yeah, but we're not, not going, going back, back tonight. It's a historical occasion, and we're yeah. very proud. Of it. Fantastic. Yeah. I come from the Netherlands. I'm American, but I live in the Netherlands now, so it wasn't as big of a trip as for some of these ladies. She's been here for five days. Five days? Five days. She's from America. She's from America. She's from America. Yeah. Why, why are you here? What, what inspires you to come and camp on the side of the road? Well, um, the opportunity to actually see the king, you know, uh, we were hoping that he would stop and say hi, but he kind of passed us by and went there. So if you're listening, Kingy, maybe tomorrow you'll stop for us. We're right in front of Buckingham. Um, we put up our tent on Tuesday and we've been here three nights. One more, one to go. Is it comfortable? Is it it's pretty comfortable, yeah it is. We have air mattresses and sleeping bags and we're here to support him and you know let him know how many people really admire him. I arrived from Canada yesterday, two day journey. I had one night at the hotel 
tonight. The room will be empty. <laughs> and you'll be here. Yes. Are you going to sleep in back? Oh, no, I'm fine. I was here for William's wedding and I have my coat. I have a poncho. Um, I'm all set. And once the morning, there's going to be so much going on to watch. You just carried away with the euphoria of the moment. So. Hello, I'm Ryan. And so how long have you been here? We have been here at least 20 minutes. We've got our umbrella tent. Oh, oh tent. umbrella tent, that's ingenious. Out of umbrellas. And you're going to be here for the night then? We will be, we will be. Um, we have a hotel, but we thought we're probably not going to get a spot this good if we leave. Welcome to London, everyone. What made you want to come along and, and be here for this? Ah, I love the atmosphere. And my mum loves the uh, Royals. I'm quite a fan myself. England, innit? What's it? What's about? Yes. Hi, guys. So how long have you been here? Since 12.30 yesterday. 12.30? On Thursday. And how's your day going? How's the atmosphere? Great. Fabulous. Absolutely Having so amazing. much fun. Yeah. It's a moment in history, not only that, it's King Charles. What's special about King Charles is he is literally, 40 years ago, he was pushing the motive of being an economically friendly and all that lot. And everybody ridiculed him, they laughed at him. He's all about the environment <laughs> and about us as a whole. I mean, he has a car that's made of the byproducts of cheese and wine. Cheese and really? wine. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Look it up. If you don't believe me, Google it, look it up. And he's just showing by example. Okay, yes, he has to drive around in his Rolls Royce, but like, you know, it's bulletproof. He needs to drive around in that. This isn't going to happen again for decades and decades. Um, so why not just come and see it for ourselves? Because we can only do that so many times in our lifetime, you know? Have fun with your friends too. I feel like that's what part of the it's experience. Just, yeah. Where have you actually traveled from? Even London. Yeah. <laughs> just, just, just down the road. Just down the road. Down the, road. Down the, road. the vibe down here is amazing. And do you know what? Everybody is in the same high spirit as everybody else. Yeah. Like, Everybody is getting on with their neighbours because we're all here for the same thing. Great you know, and here. We're all here for the same thing. Fine, and you know what? Like, it's King Charles. I mean, what a breath of fresh air we have. And what a great way to unite everybody. Like, exactly. We're, we've been talking to people that are from halfway across the world. We've met so many new people. Like, we've met so many friends just today. Just it's been amazing, mouth. honestly. Oh, that's um, great. You, I, you've got a real joyful energy. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. We, do. we are feeling excited about King Charles. It's a new, fresh start, and Make it starts a today. Noise, Andrew Lloyd Webber. Tomorrow. We'll hear that tomorrow. Perfect. The coronation anthem. Brilliant. Well, God save the king. God, God save, save the, the king. king. We've obviously come for the coronation oh, tomorrow, oh, just to enjoy yeah. all the fun and. We've been wet, it's been thunder and lightning and now it's sunny. And we've managed to shake the king's hand today. Both no of, both yeah. of us. Yeah. 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 They yeah. did yeah. a yeah. walk about here. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. About an hour ago. Did he look kind of nervous? Not, Not at, at all. all. He, was he so seemed relaxed. really relaxed. And William and Kate were there as well. Oh. She looked gorgeous. She had, they were on that side. And she had a white dress on and oh, she just looked fabulous. She looked all her hair, you know, like cascade. She only needs to carry a bag and she, she looked would be gorgeous, <laughs> wouldn't she? But she couldn't get going because everybody was just clamouring yeah. to get to her. It's amazing. Fabulous. We have spent all day. And it's only going to get better as well. Yeah. I know from last time. We spent all day doing interviews for Australian TV, uh, German TV, France. France, everywhere. Bulgaria. Out to the camera <laughs> and and now you're going to be on thousand, my YouTube channel. How exciting is that? And a thousand photos. Yeah. Think of it, we can't beat it. Can you? <laughs> <laughs> so, we're getting with them. Oh, yes, yes. Let's have a group, like a group shot. You always find people you know somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> this is our new friend that we've met, <laughs> the lovely Cecilia, and <laughs> she struck, she shook. Charles's hand as well, didn't yes. you? Hi, yes. Hi, Cecilia. You shook Charles's hand. How amazing yes. is that? Yeah. Are you going to wash your hand for? Uh, like, no, maybe no, not for no, 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 no. no. I, I, I'm going to kiss it. <laughs> I'm just happy to be surrounding this rather delighted surrounding. Uh, I, I'm just so excited by that. I'm intrigued by the, you know, the people. So uh, full of, of, of energy for nothing, I guess. Oh, fabulous to see you. It was so lovely to meet you. And I hope you have a fantastic experience. Yes, yes. Young man, and how long have you been here? And how long are you going to be here? Are you here tonight? Yes. Are you excited? Yeah. Are you excited about staying here for the night? Yeah. Have you got a tent? 
Wow, what an experience. Can I ask what your name is? Ben. Ben. Well, Ben, have a fantastic time. I'm and Grandad is here yeah, too. Yeah, that's right, yeah. I'm security. <laughs> I've got everything I need. Everything my family need. Uh, yeah, lots of money. Well, I've done every coronation in my life, must admit. Every year. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you nearly had me on that one. Now, I don't believe that you were here for the quick <laughs> I wasn't, no. <laughs> oh, well, I hope it goes really well. Okay, thank you. Hi, I'm Justin. Justin. And, and, and this is my mom, Rosaria. Hello, Rosaria. And where have you come from to be here we've, for this moment? We've event? come from the United States, from New York. We, we arrived yesterday and we got here early this morning. It's, it's great. It feels like we're a part of history. This is, feels like a once-in-a-lifetime generational historic event and it feels great to be here. Um, we got to see the king when he passed by. We shook his hand oh, you shook and his my hand mom too. spoke to him. What did he say? Well, I told him I was from the U.S. He said, I hope you're not camping here. I said, yes, and I'm 72. He said, incredible. Yeah. Wow, what an experience. Well, have a good Thank night. I hope so it's not much. too cold. Thank you very much. Hello. Hello. How long have you been here? Since Wednesday morning. Wednesday morning. How are you feeling? Are you excited? Yeah, I'm actually. Yeah. And I've just noticed your your tent. That's what attracts my attention. So the blues and royals. blues and royals. And um, why have you come today? Why is it special for you to be here? It's not an event that happens very often. Obviously, being ex-service, me, me and my mate Dave and the other guy in there, Gary. That's a very special thing, like the king or the queen. And there's some whites here as well. The whole family. Yes. Yeah, the whole here, white here. family. The whole white family. Oh, maybe we're long lost That's my Mrs. Maiden name, right? Is it? Yeah. No. Yeah, we're not. It's it's a common related. Yeah, yeah, common. Fourth generation. Common, we are. Yeah, yeah, to attend the coronation. Name, You're the. F oh, really? They're the third. I'm the third. <laughs> Sorry, bit of Prosecco. <laughs> and they're the fourth. Oh, what does it mean for you to be here today? Oh, oh. oh it just means so everything. It yeah. just made up that we. We get, we got to so we're the third generation to come. The king's oh my gosh, you all got to shake the king's hand. It was like a dream. It was amazing. Oh, I bet it was. The best I bet you didn't done. expect that. No, no, no. no. We hope. We hope. We, you always hope for a walkabout, don't you? But you, I, I, you, you never know who's going to do it. We found <laughs> Kate and William, didn't we? Yeah. When he did, did he cars, look? Like, did he look tired or stressed or no? no. Not at all. No. Just no. calm. <laughs> Off with his head. Tight Can I have a picture? No, we're not. We just come for today. I stay. Some of us stay. Oh, yeah. Are oh, you going to camp? Oh, yes. Oh, wow. In, uh, in the, the White Hall. Okay. In the Downing Street. Is it number oh. 10? Opposite number, number 10. 10. We love King Charles. Yes. A lot of men for us. The country cannot without a king. <laughs> We need King. Hello, hello. <laughs> Hi. So how is your day going? Brilliant. It was last minute plan to camp. We had a hotel booked for tonight and she convinced me otherwise. So we went and bought a tent. Oh, what an experience. So this is exciting. So you're going to be camping out here tonight. How do you feel about that? Scared but happy. Scared but happy. Where have you actually travelled from? Doncaster. Doncaster. Gosh, what does it mean for you to be here today? Uh, I've been to the other one today because I was over here for the Queen's funeral and it was a very sad occasion. But uh, the British study people have done a good show and they've done an excellent job. And Her Majesty the Queen uh, will never, never 
replaced. Nobody ever replaced her. King Charles, all the best to him and, and Camilla and all the rest. But I think that, uh, you know, the Queen was hard to beat. The Queen, everybody, and everybody loved, especially the older people, my granny and everybody else, loved the Queen Mother. And you know, they just put a die for the Queen Mother. And I, I, I always give my life for the Queen because I've been ridden with bullets uh, over Northern Ireland. But I'm still here and I'm still very proud. I'm very proud to see the Eugene replacing the lit, his lit mother. Wonderful. And are you staying the night as well? I, I, we're here from about uh, 10, we'll come over on Thursday morning and we're going to stay here now to whatever time the whole thing's over. It doesn't matter rain, hail, or snow, or anything else, we'll be here. We'll not give up. And we uh, just, I want to wish uh, King Charles III all the very best wishes and let him serve us all as good as his mother done. And oh. we're very proud of him. What do your school friends think? I bet they're quite jealous, aren't they, that your mum's brought you down here to watch the <laughs> coronation? <laughs> Mind blown. <laughs> and what's your name? Pippa. Pippa. We'll have a fab time, Pippa. What's your name? I'm Joanne. Joanne. Uh, I'm Joseph. Uh, Joseph. But they call me no ordinary Joe. Uh, <laughs> that's uh, but we showed the lady here. Where's that photo the, that he's given you? Show the wee photo after the queen. <laughs> I don't see this one now. I give her this wee girl because... And what's the atmosphere like? Oh, it's just oh, amazing. Oh, it's, 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 it's magic. Brilliant. Completely magic. Magic. Now, look at that. Ooh, Who's that boy there? Oh, that's you. That <laughs> is <laughs> you, Joseph. Right. That's the end of the ba banner operation, uh, the, the end of the Officer Defence Regiment. And uh, I met her and talked to her and that was in Belfast at the uh, Barnmore Hall in Belfast. And uh, oh, that was a proudest moment of my life. Oh wow, what amazing memories, and you're that, making that medal more memories. Is, that medal there is uh, the Queen's Silver, Silver Jubilee Medal, and uh, that was in 1977. And there's only man out, one man out of every company picked, but there's three, three people in our company, and uh, the, the, for some reason or not, they chose me to help. But that, uh, that, that's the proudest medal I have. Oh wow, and you're wearing that with pride. I know, I'll tell you another thing. Uh, <laughs> I just, I just. It's marvellous. I come over every remember Sunday here and I lay the things so that they fall. And I lay the questions that they and I was proud as a peacock. Oh, wonderful. Well, make some fab memories. We right. will. And um, oh, well, <laughs> thank well. you very much. No, yeah, it's a pleasure. <laughs> pleasure to talk to you. Thanks and very much. It's a pleasure Pippa. to see you. Have no, a no, brilliant that, that's a star. Time. That's a star in the making. She is a that star. Is a I'm, star loving, in the I'm loving the hair. The We're getting more patriotic as the day goes on, aren't we? Thank you. I just met Jeff here, who is in the Royal Engineers, and how long have you been here? Jeff? I've been here about an hour, I only got here recently. Are you staying the night? I'll be staying the night, yes. And what does it mean for you to be here for this occasion? Well, it's, uh, I've always been a, a big monarch, royalist monarchist. So it's a, it's a big thing to actually come all the way, come here to actually see see the king on his new day, and I can tell my grandchildren etc. That I was there. How are you uh, feeling about sleeping here in your yeah. tent for the night? I've slept in a lot worse oh, places. I'm sure you have actually. Yes, <laughs> <That's the laughs> yes. Yeah. So sleeping here was not, won't be a problem at all. Well, I hope you have a great yeah. sleep. Thank you. My attention has been caught by these very glamorous young ladies here. Twins! Yeah. Twins! Twins! Oh, wonderful. Well, you do... Yeah, yeah, yes. I have to say it. Yes. And how long have you been here? Are you staying for the night? Yes, we are. We are. We're in for the long haul. Well, we've always done it, but there's never going to be another coronation probably in our life. And just to see this spectacular display of what's going to be, what's going to happen tomorrow. It's part it's of a great atmosphere as well, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's really good atmosphere, atmosphere. And it's good, good part of history as well. Well, I so. hope you have a great night. Have you got your sleeping bag, lots of food? Oh, lots of food. Yes, yeah. plenty yeah. of gin. Yeah. Plenty of gin and tonics. Oh, that's the most important. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, um, myself and my four friends arrived on Tuesday. Tuesday? Oh my gosh, and you've been camping here? We have, indeed. Well, the, the first night was, was uh, exciting, but um, a long night because we had the full dress rehearsal which was unbelievable. The highlight of that night was when the golden coronation coach was just here at three o'clock in the morning. But of course, bands and horses make a lot of noise. So it was after 3.30 when we climbed into our sleeping bags. 
a winter time it was so cold, so we didn't have a lot of sleep. The last two nights has been much better. What does it mean for you to be here? It must be very special. Um, <laughs> unbelievable. We've all five of us today just met the king and had a conversation with him. What did he say? Oh, different things to each of us. So interested in us and, you know, he's just the most lovely man. He really is. Well, oh, thank you. What's your name? Margaret Kinsley. Mar Margaret. Thank you so much. What's your name? I'm Elizabeth. Elizabeth! <laughs> well, you all look absolutely fantastic. And, and my, my other surprise of the day my grandson joined me today as a surprise. Ah, so your grand did not know that you were coming? No. <laughs> and how do you feel? Are you excited? Yeah, very excited. Yeah, he got to talk to the king too. Yeah. Can you tell me what he said to you? Um, I can't remember actually. <laughs> <laughs> Did you speak to the king? No, I I was 20 minutes uh, too late. Oh, darn. No. Oh, but you're staying for the night as well? Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, I hope you have a fabulous time. Thank you very much. Well, thank you. Thank you. Hi. Hi. So, how long have you been here? Oh, it's the queen. It's the um, queen yesterday. <laughs> Well, most of them since yesterday. I've been here about <laughs> half an hour, but... We come uh, uh, yeah. yesterday morning, camped out. Yeah. I've had no sleep all night, but they have. We all love the royal family, love them. We've been brought up from children, going to royal events when we was children. We haven't got a tent, we've resulted to sleeping bags and we found a few boxes to lay on the floor. I've got a bag as well and a floor mat instead of cardboard, but not a tent, no. What's the atmosphere like? So good. Yeah. And we've got this one here, he's quite educated in the role, so oh, he knows all the cars that are going past and who's right. in them and yeah. what they have are. You see, have you seen the right. king? Um, I, not in person, no. I wasn't here when he was down here a few hours ago, but yeah. But he sort of started telling us what well, cars are what and who's in them and we're just getting excited. Oh, well, I hope you have a wonderful time. Thank you. Okay. Okay. And thank you for talking to me. Well, thank you. Thank you. How's your I hear that you should be back I did. I really did. So I was actually uh, planning to go to Buckingham Palace tomorrow, but so to today I was heading to Downing Street. But then I saw, oh, Buckingham Palace is so close, and I saw all this happening. As I thought, I have to look what is happening here today. So I walked down the street here, and then suddenly people start screaming, "God save the king! God save the king!" And like, oh, everybody was in a total different mood and I thought like yeah, it was is it police officer or something and then I then I saw the king like three meters ahead I start filming and I said uh, Charles and he looked at me and then I stopped filming and I, I you know as I was going through uh, and I put my hands out for like a minute and then I said Charles then he shook my hand it was very strong hand very 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 strong hand uh, and uh, yeah it was um, quite a an experience. Actually. That's amazing. And yeah. how far have you come to be here? I come from Sweden. Sweden. Have yes. you come specially for this? Yeah, for the coronation. That's amazing. And what, what inspired you to come? Well, it's uh, uh, for me. Uh, I think this is the world's biggest party uh, to celebrate, and people come together from uh, the Commonwealth and all around the world. So, uh, yeah, it's like you can experience this once in a lifetime or two in a lifetime. So I just, I have to do it. Got ladies, so how has it been for you today? Amazing. So absolutely amazing. How long have you been here? 9.30 this morning. 9.30. And um, you're going to be here tonight to camp Yes, here. we've got two We're going tents. home at 10 o'clock tomorrow night. Gosh, that's wonderful. What's the atmosphere like? Amazing. I've always said I'd love to come and love to do it, and now I'm here. Did you see the king? Have yes, we've seen, seen him. Have yeah. you seen him already? Did you, did you shake his hand? No, unfortunately not. We just give him away. Oh, brilliant. Well, have a fantastic time. It really is a once in a lifetime event. It's it? yeah. amazing, yeah. It's history, isn't it? It's a oh, queen it's with cakes. Oh, look. Did you make these? No, my oh, friend's neighbour. Yeah. We're, we're just, we're just on um, afternoon tea, scones and jam and cream. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, how, how long have you been here? Since five this morning. Five this morning. And you're in it for the long run. You're in here. You're, you're here for tonight. Well, we're not going anywhere. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Come rain, sleet, on. snow. We're here for the duration. Fantastic. Well, have a fantastic time. Oh, we're going to do our best. <laughs> Look, we have an artist here as well. Hi, have you done this today? 
Uh, yeah, since I've been here since about 11. Oh, that's absolutely brilliant. Yeah. Very kind. That's just wonderful. Everyone taking photographs and it's just great to see somebody actually painting a picture. I mean, may I ask your name? So Pete, Pete Brown or Pete the Street is a, is a kind of... Um, Pete Street? Pete the Street is a kind of cheesy... That's the website and all that. But yeah, Peter Brown's my name, my normal name. My and he's famous, famous, this guy. Famous, famous. Well, I can understand why as well, by looking at the painting. And you mentioned Messums, is that where you display your... So yeah, Messums, sort of agent, yeah, Messums. Oh, it's absolutely wonderful. What a memory. Are you going to do any more? Is this... So probably do a couple more, maybe. Maybe two more. But, um, I'll see, so I'm here till about two o'clock, half two tomorrow afternoon, then and then that'll do me. Yeah, so you're not camping? You're not camping tonight? Uh, well, I kind of am. I'm in, I'm in my van at the back of the mall there. So yeah, so more or less. Camping but comfort. Camping and comfort, a lot more comfort in this lot. Yeah, oh, yeah. great. So people can find your work at Pete the so Street? So PeteTheStreet.com. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, thank you, Pete. Pleasure. All right. Um, I got here yesterday tea time, and I arrived last night. It's been fabulous. Yeah, really, really nice, yeah. Oh, brilliant. And so you're here for the long run? You're in the tent? Yes, we are. And what does it mean for you to be here to see this? Oh, it's um, been in part history, of history, isn't it? yeah. Being part of history, yeah, yeah. But how is your day going? It's great. It's really lovely here. Is it? Have you made some new friends? These people. Yeah. It's my mum. <laughs> and my mum, and they, we've made. We've met. We've met these. We've met these yeah, we just we, met, we just met last yeah. night. Yeah. Oh, brilliant! And that's my mum, yeah. So, what do you think of our future king? I think he's. Doing, I mean, he is our king, but you know. I think he's. I think he's doing a really nice job. So, is this the first time you've camped on the? No, we camp. We always camp. Do you? Were you here for the jubilee celebrations? And the jubilee. My son's in the army, and he got a ballot to sit on his seat, so we were there. Oh, fantastic! So that was nice. I've just seen your amazing, beautiful hat. Did you knit that? I would love to say that I did, but I'm not that talented. So I've got an amazing lady. I actually got a plea out online and got an amazing lady who offered to make me two. One for me and one for my sister who's flown in from Cape Town. And I received them today. That's the reason I was a little bit late this morning, because I was waiting for them to arrive. So we've got a sleeping bag, we've got those thermal foils, I don't know what they give the runners when you've been up Kilimanjaro, you know, like those things. We, we, are, we are ready. We've had our marmalade sandwich for the Queen, we've had our Pringles, and we've just had an East London gin and tonic. Oh, wonderful. And what's for dinner later? Um, coronation chicken and um, scotch eggs. Gosh, you know, it's amazing. We absolutely love the royal family. We grew up in South Africa and followed them as children. My grandparents were British and we love them. We love the pomp and ceremony. Only England can do this, right? Come rain or come sunshine, only England can do it with this much amazing atmosphere. People are smiling and happy and friendly and chatty and we feel so proud to be British. And what an occasion. The first coronation in 70 years. I mean, how lucky can we be? Yeah, well, I hope you have a wonderful time. Thank you. Yes, we. it's going to be a... A long night, but really looking forward to it. We made loads of friends already today, and it's been absolutely amazing. So yeah, very excited. Excellent, thank you. Right, we'd love to stay the night, but we're just coming up for the day because yeah, tomorrow's just going to be too busy to come up and, and see the real thing. But we'll be at home watching it on TV. Yeah, we watch the we watch the other things, <laughs> don't we? Watch the Jubilee. Yeah. What's your name? Amy. Amy. And how has your day been? Are you enjoying the atmosphere? Uh, yes, I am. Yes. And uh, you've got a flag there, do you want to give me a wave? <laughs> really? Well, it's great that your mum has brought you. It's such a good atmosphere, isn't it? It's soaking it all up and seeing these people with incredible outfits on. I hope you have a brilliant day and I love your crown. You look very, very regal. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you've got Chris here with another absolutely fantastic outfit. Have you been here long? Since one o'clock. Since one o'clock. Are o'clock, you yeah. staying the night? Yes, in my lovely chair. In your chair? <laughs> you've got a tent? Nope. In your tent? Nope. I've got a jacket, I've got a woolly hat, I've got a scarf. And um, what's the atmosphere been like? Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. I have never met so many people and had my photograph taken by so many people. <laughs> I can understand how the famous people feel. Oh, yeah, another one? Yeah, no problem. <laughs> And are you expecting to get much sleep tonight? I doubt it. I doubt it very much. I doubt it. I'm still in awe. 
I had trepidations when I first booked the hotel and I thought I'd come down and I did this and dabbled and then I thought right well, here we are let's go down and just see what happens I'm on my own I walked along here met these people and I said do you mind if I sit with you these were all single people they've never met one another before so and you've just made lots of friends yes I have yeah yeah just amazing and everybody say everybody wants my photograph I always say where are you from oh another country ticked up been brilliant absolutely see they're all queuing up for my photograph already <laughs> <laughs> you're famous, you're famous. I know, I know. take care uh, my name is Charles and I've been here all my life and uh, I only live up the road you know lovely to meet how you how are you feeling about tomorrow well, or are I'm, you nervous I'm, I'm very excited very excited it's just been wonderful just to feel the positivity of all the people here. And are you actually going to join the, um, the commoners and sleep in a tent tonight? Well, I have, um, don't tell Camilla, but I have a wonderful Swedish girl who's agreed to keep me warm tonight. So, it's my I, last I won't say anything. Your Thank secret you so is much. safe with me. Thank you so much. You look like a person I can trust. Thank have you. a wonderful time. And you. Thank you. Lovely to meet you. And you. Bye bye. Bye bye, Charles. Bye bye. <laughs> We got here about one o'clock this afternoon, so not too long. But we're camping out tonight. Excellent. If we um, survive it. What inspired you to come and stay the night? We've, well, we've come to all of them. We usually camp out, but we thought we were getting too old for it. But when we saw how many I don't were, think I'm too old for how it. many were camping out, we decided we ought to come. Um, we were going to get a taxi in at four o'clock tomorrow morning, but we decided to camp instead. So. Here we are. Well done. Oh, it's much more fun though being mm. with everybody else. It must yeah. be a fantastic yeah, yeah. atmosphere. Whether we'll yeah, sleep yeah. tonight. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. so many lovely people, all these happy, smiley faces. Have lovely. a great time. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. We will. Well, you've got the right idea. So you've got a jam, a yeah, cream, a pollination. Yeah. How long have you been here? Um, since about half past eight this morning. Yeah. 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 And. Uh, is it a lovely atmosphere? Yeah, it's it's wonderful amazing. atmosphere. Yeah, Jane and I have done the last two jubilees together. Have you? Yeah. yeah. So we camped out as well. So you're so. quite your pros, but yeah. 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 We always say never again. But we say never again. again. Yeah. No, no. One more time. We might miss something. Yeah. Do you think you'll get much sleep tonight? No. no. <laughs> A couple of hours if we're lucky. Oh, we have to be up at six to move the tents anyway. But I think we'll be awake then and it's so noisy sleeping yeah. on the mouth. Well, have a fabulous time. Thank you, Thank you so very much. much. Thank, Thank you. Could you say and spell out your name for me, please? Diane. And how long have you been here on the mouth? Oh, we Regardless of your thoughts on the monarchy, I think you would have to agree that it was so lovely to see such a spirit of togetherness and happiness and such a joyous atmosphere in London. I'd like to say a huge thank you to everybody that I spoke to during that day. I thoroughly enjoyed meeting you all and full of admiration for the people that actually spent nights, some of them, sleeping in their tents, waiting to see the king and queen. And I really hope that you had a wonderful time and that you didn't get too wet because I know that it was raining on the actual day of the coronation. So thank you everybody too for watching this video. Thank you for watching my previous videos. I welcome your comments. I try to answer them all, but I definitely read them all. So please keep your comments coming. 
Thank you all for your continued support, for your donations too via my Ko-fi account and my super thanks. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. I hope that you go on now to have a wonderful day, a wonderful week ahead. And I'm really looking forward to seeing you again very, very soon for more mudlarking adventures on the River Thames and elsewhere and to discovering more of our history and researching the stories behind the objects that I find. Take care, everyone. See you again very soon. Bye-bye.